Many, including myself, were expecting the Las Vegas Raiders to hire Champ Kelly for the GM position, but nope. Owner Mark Davis pumped his brakes on that because he has one regret since taking over the Raiders. His first hire was first-time GM Reggie McKenzie, and his first hire was first-time head coach Dennis Allen. We remember how that went, so it's easy to see why Davis wouldn't want to do that again. As a matter of fact, all Davis has had since taking over his first-time GMs. He's gone through McKenzie, Mike Mayock, and Dave Ziegler. Davis wanted a guy with some experience this time around, and Telesco has 10 years of experience. He's put together some good rosters with the Chargers, too. His problem is hiring head coaches, but he's not doing that for the Raiders. The Chargers were picked by some to win the AFC West and go to the Super Bowl this past offseason. Why is that? They had one of, if not the best roster in the NFL. There was talent everywhere on that roster, and of course, most of them came from Telesco's draft. He's drafted pretty well in this time as the Chargers GM. He usually does well in the first round, unlike the Raiders the last few years. The Raiders have had 10 first-round picks since 2016, and only three of them are still on the team. Left tackle Colton Miller and running back Josh Jacobs are the hits, and we don't know what edge rusher Tyree Wilson is yet. That's a hit rate of just 20%. Telesco has had eight first-round picks since 2016, and only Jerry Tillery, who's with the Raiders now, isn't on the team. Edge rusher Joey Bosa, receiver Mike Williams, strong safety Derwin James, franchise quarterback Justin Herbert, left tackle Rashawn Slater, and guard Zion Johnson are all hits, and we don't know what receiver Quentin Johnson is yet. That's a hit rate of 75%. Four of them are stars that have been to the Pro Bowl, and one has been an All-Pro. So let's go build good rosters for the Chargers, period. We can go back to the beginning of his tenure with the Chargers and find gems. How good would 2014 first-round corner Jason Vred have been if he didn't have all those injuries? Telesco has a real eye for talent. He got receiver Keenan Allen in round three in 2013, and he's an all-time Charger. Slot receiver Josh Palmer was a solid third-round pick from 2021. Corner Asante Samuel Jr. came in the second round in 2021. 2023 second round edge rusher Tuli Tui Pelotu made an immediate impact for the Chargers. There are also guys that went to other teams and are doing damage, like 2016 second round tight end Hunter Henry and 2018 second round edge rusher Chenna Nuosu. Then you have running back Austin Eckler, who Telesco snatched up in 2017 as an undrafted free agent. Now about the free agent pickup of Pro Bowl corner Casey Hayward in 2016 and trade for all Pro Bowl edge rusher Khalil Mack in 2021. Talent hasn't been a problem during Telesco's tenure. Coaching has been the problem. It started before Telesco got there, but he couldn't fix it. The Boston Red Sox had the curse of the Bambino for a long time after they traded Babe Ruth to the New York Yankees. The Chargers had their version of that curse after they went 14-2 in 2006 and inexplicably, idiotically fired Marty Schartenheimer. It was one of my happiest days as a Raider fan because I knew the Raiders would finally have a chance to beat the Chargers again. It looks like they're finally going to exercise that curse with Jim Harbaugh and Telesco Dunn in Los Angeles. The coaches he had with the Chargers weren't good at all. Mike McCoy, Anthony Lynn, and Brandon Staley all failed in succession with good rosters. I think Brandon Staley is right up there with Josh McDaniels for the worst head coach in NFL history. Davis was smart to hire the head coach first, then settle on Telesco as his GM. When the Raiders start winning, it could start a trend of owners hiring GMs and head coaches independently of each other instead of package deals with one guy hiring the other because they're friends. The Raider hierarchy is really starting to shape up this offseason, starting with the hiring of head coach Antonio Pierce, a great leader of men. And of course, with him on the defensive side of the ball is mastermind defensive coordinator Patrick Graham. And they have Rob Ryan and Marvin Lewis as backup resources when they need them. And now the Raiders have their GM. Tom Telesco is a good one, personnel-wise. He's built great rosters with the Chargers. He just couldn't get the coaching situation right. But guess what? He won't be asked to hire head coaches. Thank you for watching. See you next time.